this tutorial, I will show you how to use the Music Brains Relationship Editor. After logging into your Music Brains account, find a release that you would like to add relationships to or edit existing relationships of. Press the Edit Relationships link in the sidebar of the Release Entity page. The Edit Relationships link will take you to this page, the Relationship Editor. There are two main columns, Recording and Related Works. The Recording column is the track listing of the release, allowing you to view the relationships for each recording in the release. The Related Works column displays the works that each recording on the left is associated with and the works relationships. Let's add a relationship to a recording. Click on the Add Relationship button underneath the recording. A small menu will pop up showing some fields that you'll need to fill in. If you need to add a relationship relating many of the recordings to the same entity, do this using Batch Adding Relationships, which I will talk about later in this video. By default, the dialog lets you relate to an artist. If you want to relate to a different entity type, you can use this drop-down menu to do so. After the correct entity type is set, Choose the relationship type by clicking on this drop-down. For a brief description of the currently selected relationship type, press the help link. For further information, follow this link to documentation of each relationship type. The last required step is to find the entity you're relating to using the search box. If your entity does not show up when you search for it, it has not been added to the database yet. If you added the entity recently and it does not show up in the search, you may need to use direct search. Check out this link for documentation on how to add entities to Music Brains. Some of the entity types offer optional attributes and date range sections. Unless indicated, these are optional. Throughout Music Brains, it is better to leave fields empty than to enter data that you're unsure of. For help with the attributes section, press the help link which will bring up descriptions of each attribute listed. For more help on how to use both of these sections, Please see the documentation for the relationship type you selected earlier. Once you're done filling everything out, click Done. You've just added a relationship. It will appear highlighted green underneath the recording. Note that the relationship doesn't actually exist yet, but it will after you submit the form. edit a relationship, click on its name. You can edit any relationship that isn't being removed. The dialog is identical to the one when adding a relationship, only the entity type is fixed. If you want to change the entity type, you will need to remove the relationship and then add another relationship with the correct entity type chosen. Editing an existing relationship will highlight its name, yellow, to indicate that it was modified. Click on this X to mark a relationship for removal. If you remove an existing relationship, it will highlight red. If you remove a pending relationship that's been added, it will be removed from the page. Please make sure that the relationship is wrong before removing it. One thing to note is that relationships marked for removal aren't removed immediately. The removal edit will stay open for a while to allow other editors to vote on whether the removal is proper or not. Check out this link for an introduction to voting.
If the related works column on the right side of the page is empty, you will probably want to match each recording to a work. The way to do this for a single recording is by clicking on the Add Related Work button, filling in the desired fields, and pressing Done. It's common that newer or obscure releases may not have any works in the database yet, causing a search for them to turn up no results. Conveniently, the Add a New Work link is available underneath the search results list. The process to add a composer, lyricist, or other common work relationship will be identical to the process we used earlier for recordings. Simply press the Add Relationship button and fill in the desired fields as before. If few or none of the recordings in the release have works in the database, creating a new work for each of them is liable to become tedious. Thankfully, Music Brains created a way to batch create works. After checking that the recordings do not have works already in Music Brains, select the recordings that you wish to add new works for. Please search carefully in Music Brains for the works you want to add so you don't accidentally create duplicate works in Music Brains. Next, click on the Batch Create New Works button. Every work that's created will have the same title as the recording it was created for. The rest of the inputs on the dialog should be similar to the ones focused on earlier, except for the optional Work Type and Lyrics Language fields. Check out this link for a Work Type definition. Lyrics Language is simply the language that the lyrics were written in. There is an option here for works without lyrics. For any optional fields, it is better to leave them empty than to enter data that you're unsure of. Once you click Done, this operation cannot be undone. New works will be created in the database immediately, and relationships will be added to each respective recording. The Relationship Editor provides the Batch Add Relationships functions to help you add the same relationship to multiple recordings or works. For example, a CD booklet might credit a lead vocalist on half of the songs in the release. Instead of having to add a separate relationship matching the vocalist to the recording several times, the Batch Add Relationships to Recordings function allows you to add the relationship once. Start by using the checkboxes on the page to mark the recordings you'd like to add your relationship to. Next, click the Batch Add a Relationship to Recordings button. The dialog that pops up is identical to the one when adding a single relationship. The Batch Add Relationships to Works button similarly allows you to add relationships such as composers and publishers to multiple works at once. You can also add relationships to the release or release group as a whole. additions, edits, and removals indicated by the highlighted text. Once you're sure that all the information is correct, it is recommended that you enter an edit note to complete the edit. Edit notes should generally contain information about where you found your data and confirm if you have a copy of the physical release. Check out this link for documentation on how to write edit notes. Finally, press Enter Edit to submit your changes. After 
After pressing Enter Edit, you will be taken to the screen, the edited release page. Congratulations! You are now a Music Brains editor. Thank you.